Watch out, Gav. What are you petting the neighbor goat? Gav! Gav! Come on. You gotta stay home today. Come on. up dudes and welcome back to another exciting episode of fishing more outdoors you guys can probably see it down below in the title today i'm fishing with my brother and uh yeah gonna be doing a crappie catch and cook but yeah stay tuned Gotta hook up the boat and whatnot i know ryan <laughs> we'll see it uh, probably out in the boat or something oh Easy. What? I'm gonna say, do you need a little hair around it? Or? I usually, it's usually hard finding the hole for me. Richie! What's up, Richie? What's up now, Richie? Hey, kitty, kitty, come, kitty, kitty, come, come, kitty, kitty, come, kitty! Never made it as a wise man. <laughs> That's a wild man. Dude, it is. Dead glass. It is glass out there. Oh, ha, ha. We're gonna crush. I hope so. Sorry to interrupt y'all, but really quick before we absolutely put the hammer on some crappies, I wanna let you guys know that today's episode is sponsored by Ugreen. Check this thing out, y'all. This is my brand new Ugreen Power Roam, a 1200 watt portable power station. Most of y'all probably know I'm like never home. I'm always on the road filming these videos for y'all. So I never really have like a really good power spot to recharge all of my stuff. So that's where the old Ugreen Power Roam comes into handy. On the side here, we got one, two, three, four, five, six different charging outlets. This is what I use to charge like my laptop and stuff like that. Literally all you have to do is turn this sucker on, turns on really quick like, and all you have to do is push this button and you're all good to go. Once we get to the front of the Ugreen Power Roam, we got a USB charging port here, USB charging port here, we got a USB-C charging port here and here, and I believe these are actually 100 watt, which makes them like fast charging ports. Up here, we got like a car charging port, that's real nice. On the other side over here, we got a pretty awesome light. When you're outside or like in a tent or something, it's really bright. Then on this side, this is where we got all the plug-in ports. Uh, you can just plug it into a wall here. You can plug it into solar panels and stuff like that. Once again, you all know I'm like always on the road. So solar panels are definitely an option when I'm like out on the road and not gonna be home for like a month or something. Literally, you can pull up to a campsite, set up your solar panels, plug the sucker in. And you can charge this sucker to complete in just four hours. One really cool thing about the Ugreen is that they have fast 50 minute charging. If you plug in the AC charger to this, you can get from zero to 80% charge in just 50 minutes, which is pretty, pretty awesome. It's got push battery capacity with U-Turbo. This thing will power 90% of appliances all the way up to 1200 watts. Just for reference, I believe my Traeger grill only takes 300 watts to use. So you could actually use my grill off of the Power Roam. This thing's got a 10 year battery life. Apparently you can charge it up to 3000 times plus to 80%. They actually made an app for the Ugreen and it's got like super easy app control. You can do awesome stuff like monitor, like charging data. And it's got child lock on it. You can put it in silent mode and just having the app, you just basically have total control. But Anyways, y'all, I'm gonna leave a link down below in my description. I'm also gonna leave a link down in the comments. I'm also gonna be leaving y'all a promo code, which is 05UGREEN1200. If you guys use that promo code, I believe you can get $200 off your purchase. One more time, the promo code is 05UGREEN1200. If any of y'all end up purchasing one of these bad boys, I promise you are not gonna be disappointed. I have been absolutely loving this thing. One more time, y'all, I'm gonna leave everything linked down below in my description. The hugest shout out to you green for sponsoring today's video let's get back to it yeah what's up throw this in the plug in the bait in the lag well in the front yeah
Ready, bro? Yeah, should be. I'm pumped up. Really quick. I need to plug in. Battery packs, all my stuff is dead. Alright y'all, we have made her to the spot. Gonna be starting out with a little Euro Tackle Fishing More Minnow. Oh, shit. And yeah, just got myself a little tungsten jig head. I'm gonna thread that on. And yeah, I'm pretty much, really vertical jigging these, aren't we? Pretty much. Pretty much vertical. Almost letting it pendulum down, but yeah, stay tuned. I think I'm only gonna be keeping like four or five crappies. That's all I really need, I think. So yeah, stay tuned. Hopefully we can get some good ones. Wow, that is a light finesse bait. That one? Yep. First cast. That took 10 seconds, dude. It's that fish and more minnow, baby. Right there. Get that pan optics out. Why aren't we casting it right on them? Yeah. Let's do that. You need help? No, well, yeah, eventually. Here. Yeah, damn, right? What? I'm yeah, farting around with this thing. Well, you didn't want it to bend, you know? Damn, look at you. That's what? sick. Haha, <laughs> right? Good idea. Just spin it, and wherever this is facing is where it's facing. Yeah. Huh. Fucking <laughs> free and free. <laughs> I like free. So do I. Oh my. Ooh. Better? Yeah. Yeah. Decent. Nice. Harvest. Kill him. But that felt big, dude. Yeah, it broke me off. Yeah, must have been. Let me switch it up a little bit. Like a bluegill color. Keeper. I got four of those and I'm eating pretty good. Hell yeah, dude. It's a nice crappie. Oh, sorry. You hooked up too? You know, we're catching them. For me? Huh? This fucker here. Fighting. Good one? Fighting. In this case, y'all are curious as to how we are catching these suckers. We are just casting it out about 10, 15 feet. And pretty much just giving it small jigs and letting it pendulum to bottom. It's pretty easy. I don't know if we mentioned it too, but we got the live, or the pan optics set up. So we can pretty much see exactly where these fish are. Usually though, right after you jig it and let it drop some more, they just pound it. It's just a little baby though. Yeah, stay tuned. We are crushing. Hopefully we can get three more nice ones, which I think we're gonna do. We're gonna have a pretty good meal. This one's good. I got a net. Nah, it's not. Yeah. I think it's just hooked weird. It's a keeper. No. What do you want? I don't. No. I got a pretty good feeling we'll be able to get. <laughs> Wait, what, what's down there? Oh, no. yeah. Only a couple 
thousand. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's all fish, y'all. Crazy. That's a decent one, I don't know. How do yeah. I have them so fast? Yeah, that's a nice one, actually. I'm using the fishing worm minnow. Yeah, I'd say that's another keeper. That's a, that's a, <laughs> that was a line breaker. Yeah. Like, dude, honestly, oh, dude, I think I'm good. These are big, thick crappies. Um, Just me, I think three's gonna be a perfect meal. So, honestly, I think I'm gonna chill right there, y'all. That is my, that's my third one, right? Yeah. My third and last crappie I'm gonna be keeping. Like, wow, y'all. This is <laughs> insane. Anyway, stay tuned. We're definitely going to keep fishing and catch a ton more, but uh, yeah. Don't, don't know how much more I'm gonna film because it's pretty much just the same thing over and over. Pitching out 10 feet, catching a crappie, releasing the crappie. Hopefully we can catch some tanks or something. Hopefully y'all have been enjoying so far. You know, everyone go follow my Snapchat. I'm gonna put it down in the corner right here. Go subscribe. I've been pretty active on there lately. Little update, yo! We got ourselves a live well full of beautiful eater crappies. Getting stuff all packed up here, but just one more time, I thought I'd show you what we were using today. The old Euro Tackle Fish and More Minnow. And then we just had them paired with, uh, these are just little tungsten jig heads by Euro Tackle. I absolutely love these things. Super tiny. I don't know what weight this is. Ryan, you know what weight this is? Like what size? No, I don't. It's like one six. I think it's one sixteenth or like one. It could even be an eighth because it's tungsten. I don't know for sure, but tungsten gets down there really quick. The crappies seem to be loving that. Anyways, yeah, just getting all my stuff packed up. Stay tuned. We will see you guys probably back at Ryan's house. y'all just grabbed the crappies dropping off the boat and we're on our way back to the fish and more headquarters we freaking harvested man did not end up keeping just three for myself we got ourselves a two-man limit here mom said she wanted to i fresh know fish, so but what happened <laughs> well, mom calls and says you better be keeping some you gotta bring mom gotta fish, bring mom fish. <laughs> Boy, we are back at the Fish and More headquarters, y'all. Stay tuned. Uh, I'm about to just like set up a camera. Me and my brother are about to whip up these crappies really quick. Like, man, that is a bucket of some good crappies. Hear them? Right? They went nuts when I did it. You just don't know how to do it. All right, y'all. Just got done cleaning up them fish, but it is currently only 2.39. And myself and Ryan actually picked up some lunch on the way back to the Fish and More headquarters. So I'm gonna wait to eat these suckers till like later tonight. Like I'm gonna have them for supper or something. So yeah, stay tuned. Probably see you guys later, later tonight. Welcome back, y'all. It is currently 8.50, just about nine o'clock. I am absolutely starving. Been doing freaking yard work the past like four hours. But yeah, got pretty much all the ingredients set up for this little catch and cook. We're about to get these fish cooking. I'm gonna be trying something a little bit different today. Usually uh, we do a lot of frying fish on the channel and I just had fried fish yesterday at my mom's house actually. So we're gonna do some baked fish today. Got myself some eggs and some uh, crispy chicken fried stuff and just some other seasonings and whatnot. But yeah, follow along 
Let's get these suckers cooking. First off, we're gonna need to get ourselves a couple eggs. I'm just probably gonna do like two eggs. Give that a good pants wipe. Next, we need ourselves our fish from earlier today. Next, I'm just gonna take some paper towel and lightly pat these down. The drier, the better. I've learned from, or for like bacon fish and whatnot. If they're really dry, it just helps them get really crispy and helps that uh, fish fryer batter or whatever you're using uh, stick better. Grab ourselves, this is just like original crispy chicken fry batter. Just gonna fill the plate with this. Okay, sauce these with some pepper. Next, let's sauce these with a little bit of salt. We're gonna take ourselves some Traeger Fin and Feather Rub. And we're just gonna sauce these plates everywhere with this. You know what? I'm about to do this over the garbage. Watch out, Kev. Now we're gonna flip these plates and do the exact same thing to the other side. And you know what? I'm actually gonna take a bunch of this Fin and Feather and I'm also gonna put it in this chicken fry too. You know, I feel like some spice would be cool. Let's add some crushed, ooh, we're almost out, but let's add some crushed red pepper. Get some of this in that batter. Not a whole bunch, but you know, just enough to party. All right, next, let's get a little bit on there. Take ourselves a paper towel and just get that olive oil everywhere. We're gonna take a filet that's already seasoned. Put it in the egg. Let that drain a little bit. And put it in the chicken fry. Whoa. God damn it. Put it in the chicken fry. Take it out. Slap it on the pan. And we are just going to do the same thing to all of these pieces. Stay tuned, y'all. Oh, you know what? I should have probably had this thing preheating. Let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna set this to uh, 400. I don't really know for sure, but 400 for now. We got the oven all preheated. Still have to clean up this freaking mess, but we got our fish. Hopefully this is gonna be good. Like I said, I've never tried this before, but yeah. I'm gonna sauce these on the top rack, set a timer for probably 15 minutes, and I don't know if it's gonna be done by then, but we'll just, we'll come and check it. It might need another like five minutes or something, cause I want these suckers crispy. Yeah, hopefully this is gonna be bomb. I'm starving and I'm about to clean up this mess. Stay tuned, y'all. What's up, boy? Cooking fish. Nice. What are you doing? Driving. Where are you at? Ohio. Ohio? Ohio. I almost got arrested there once. Really? Yup. You driving straight through the night or what? No, I'm gonna stop in like oh, I got like forty minutes left. So I'm stopping. Oh no way. Yeah. Where are you stopping, hotel? No, just some fucking random spot on the side of the road. And you're just going to sleep on the side of the road? Yeah, I'm going to just take off in the morning. Love to hear it. All right, y'all. Our 15 minutes is up. It's not looking like it's ready yet. I'm going to give her another, let's say, 5, 10 minutes. I'm going to put 10 minutes and check it in 5. It smells good. I'll tell you that for free, but you can still see that batter. Honestly, it doesn't look the best. I hope that I'm able to even use that batter because I think it's like frying batter, but I figured if I put the egg on it, for, or like the egg wash, I think it would crispen up. You would think anyways. Yeah. Tell y'all what, starting to smell like fish in here. I think we put too much batter on them. It's like they're nice and crispy, but there's still batter on top. I think we might have messed this up. But I think we're still gonna send it. I don't wanna keep cooking them any longer. I've cooked them for like 20 minutes now. They're just gonna be dried up turds if I keep cooking them. Man, they smell good. Look at this though. 
It's like batter on them still. Win some and you lose some? Oh! And they're sticking to the pan. Let's grab herself. It's really white and flaky. Look at that. Really flaky. Let's see if it's edible. Hmm. Hell yeah. Bomb. It just stuck. It's just not. It's just not cooked good, but still bomb. I bet you with a. Hold on. I'm gonna try to get some off on a plate, and I got myself some sweet chili sauce. Stay tuned. All right. Well, we were able to successfully grab. Whew, it's still pretty hot. Well, we were able to successfully grab ourselves two nice fillets here. And once again, y'all, and this piece is hot, but once again, even though it does not look the prettiest, it's pretty bussin', like really bussin'. I'm gonna crush all of this. That garlic and that uh, Traeger rub, really bussin'. I taste a lot of that, and, and I'm tasting some crushed red pepper. Very good. <laughs> it's super weird that they're still breading on here. You could probably shake it off of there. Not really, not really bothering me though. Drop down in the comments, y'all. What do you think I did wrong? I think I either, well, I think I either used a chicken fry that's like not for baking fish. I think it was for like specifically frying fish. Or I just used like way too much of it. I think maybe that, that's what I did. I used too much. Anyways, y'all, I think we're about to end this video here. I'm about to absolutely smash these crappies. Really hope y'all enjoyed the video. Me and my brother had a killer time catching those crappies. That was a ton of fun. I freaking miss spring crappie fishing and can't wait to go and do some more of it. If you guys could like this video, share this video, smash that subscribe button. Stay tuned for some more crappie fishing. It is freaking crappie season, so... Sure, we're, I'm sure we're going to be doing some more of it. Huge, huge, huge shout out to you, Green, for sponsoring today's video. Once again, I'm going to leave all their stuff linked down below in the description. Go check them out. They make some pretty dope products. And I think that's it, y'all. One more time. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Stay tuned for some more.